Hello again, everybody. It's Scott Casper, Takedown Wrestling. We continue our coverage of the sport by going deep inside the NWCA All-Star Classic. It takes place in Cleveland, Ohio on November 5th. One half of the weight, 165, joins us now. From Missouri, it's Daniel Lewis. Daniel, how are you? I'm doing well. Uh, this... Just getting through a, getting through a, getting through a busy uh, midterm week before, uh, before I leave for Cleveland next week. It's crazy. I mean, that's where we're all looking. We're looking forward to seeing you take on Isaac Jordan of Wisconsin. Have you guys met yet? Uh, no, we have not. So this, and by the way, if stats were, if you just compared stats for both guys, you and Isaac, uh, this looks to be like a major match on anybody's calendar. Do you guys feel that down there in, in, in Columbia? Uh, I just see, um, you know, sort of uh, competition on the schedule. I mean, every match is big. If if I'm wrestling, a, if I'm wrestling a scrub and I lose, that ends up being a huge match. If I'm wrestling uh, a top, you know, five guy, I mean, it's it's as big. I treat them all the same. You have any? Is there is there a favor for you, top or bottom? A, a lot of guys would say top based on the ability to stay on top, but to be able to come out from bottom position is is difficult for some. But there are those guys like you that have mastered it. Talk to us about top or bottom. Oh, top or bottom? Yeah. Well, uh, people are starting to get to know me as a pretty big threat on top. So uh, guys are a little bit more reluctant to choose bottom against me. Uh, how I feel about bottom, I, I enjoy the position. It's a free point. Uh, I'm going to get up no matter who's on top of me. And uh, it, I feel I feel the same way for when I'm on top of somebody. Nobody's going to get out. I'm going to bury them. I like it. Bury them with points. Uh, let's talk a little bit about how you found out about the invitation to the All-Star Classic. Who who talked to you first? Uh, our head coach, Brian Smith. Uh, he brought it up to me um, after a practice. And uh, the next day, I kind of made my decision. And the decision, obviously, was to accept the invitation yeah, to this... Not? This is the 51st year of the All-Star Classic, and being invited is a big deal. Accepting it and then going to wrestle your very best to begin the season I think is an even bigger deal. Let's talk about last year. You burst onto the national scene with uh, an outstanding year, really, as a, a redshirt freshman. Fourth place finish at 165 pounds in New York City. Talk about wrestling at Madison Square Garden. Was that a, a special opportunity for you? Um. Yeah, it was definitely special. I have a lot of family on the uh, East Coast, Pennsylvania, New Jersey area that got to come watch me. Who these guys have never seen me wrestle, so it was special in 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 that uh, scenario. Um, just uh, the atmosphere of it too. Just such a high level of wrestling in every single round. Um, having to keep focus, you know, for three days in a row, and and just and just show absolutely everything you've worked on the entire year it's it's a it's a special experience it's a neat showcase which is a lot you know a lot of us would believe that the all-star classic is a showcase at the beginning of the year the ncaa championship would be the showcase on the other end of the spectrum at the end of the year and again at 165 pounds man you made your mark and got everybody's attention you didn't start wrestling great at missouri I go back to the record books. I look at Blue Springs. I look at Mike Haggerty and what he did with you and for you. Talk about Coach Haggerty. Uh, Haggerty's like a second dad to me. He was a huge influence um, in my wrestling, in my lifestyle. Um, I'm close with his sons, his daughters. He's close with my family. Um, it's just it, we have a deeper relationship than just an uh, athlete to a coach. He um, taught me a lot of discipline. Um, he uh, a lot of core values come from come from Coach Hag. I love I love that guy a lot. There's a lot of us out there that have that same kind of appreciation for him as an official and a coach. You won four state titles underneath uh, or under his watchful eye. The first wrestler in school history to do that, and uh, the second wrestler in state history to win four titles in four different weights. Kind of like one of those Kyle Dake moments at the NCAAs. I like it, dude. Did yeah. You, I mean, what, it was, it, what was that like for you? Uh, it was a lot of fun. Um, at first, you know, when I got the first title, it was, it was wow, look what 
look what I'm on track to do. And then the next year happened and the next year happened and it just sort of, I always had it as a goal of mine and, and for it to come like to reality, I, you know, that was like my ultimate goal. That's what I like envisioned, what I dreamed of. And so, so just you, to make that happen, it was, I don't, I don't normally celebrate after matches or, or, or get excited, but that was one of the times where I was pretty pumped. I gotta believe you were. The other guy, by the way, to win four titles, it's a teammate of yours. You may recognize him walking across campus or uh, just on TV or radio or whatever. Olympic bronze medalist Jaden Cox. What's your relationship like with Jaden Cox? Uh, well, first, let me clarify something. The weight changed. Um, so Jaden was the 13th weight class twice. He didn't change weights. So the, I'll the weight class the, changed. Yeah, the weight class changed. It went from 215 to two. 220. Okay. So uh, I'll, I'll take the um, I'll take that credential of uh, first <laughs> four timer of four different weights. But uh, uh, me and Jaden, we we have a good relationship. He's a he's a really good friend of mine off the mat. Um, he's a great he's he's great competition for me in the room. Uh, you know he's he's one of those guys where I get one takedown on him in a practice and I feel I feel good about it. Whereas a lot of the other, a lot of the other guys in the practice room, I'm, I'm, I'm really working my stuff. Jaden, Jaden makes it really difficult. Even when I lose to Jaden and it's like a close loss, like I still feel, it makes me feel good. He, he definitely brings a higher level of competition out of me. Can you feel the season literally on the on the doorstep? I mean, it's, it's almost palpable, isn't it? Uh, not for me. I don't really think about. I just kind of look at it as I, I have matches coming up. I don't really t – I try to, like, negate a lot of the pressure, just, like, almost ignore it. Okay. Um, not, like – not really a negligence, but I know that everything that I do weekly, everything that I've done for months has has, has prepared me for all the matches, all the, all, all the competition that I have coming up. So I just take everything day by day. Yeah, I mean, I know I, I I'm going to Cleveland what next Friday, but I'm not really thinking all that much about it right now. I'm gonna go to practice and work and work my stuff and just continue to prepare. Well, your destination, my destination, one and the same. The Wolstein Center on the campus of Cleveland State. Matches start at six o'clock, and the main event is scheduled to go off at seven. Of course, this is the 2016 NWCA All-Star Classic presented by the Brewer Garrett Company. Tickets available at GoAllStarClassic.com or the Wolstein Center box office. You can give them a call at 844-407-2279 or look for tickets at Northeast Ohio Discount Drug Marts. All right, your opportunity right now to invite your family, your friends, and the fans of Mizzou and Tiger Style Wrestling. What do you want to say to them? Uh, get online, watch the match support i think we have i have two other teammates wrestling in it uh it's a good it's a good opportunity to see some of the uh some of the talent mizzou has right out of the gate right before the season even gets started a uh, chance for everybody to get excited and uh watch some tiger style wrestling and for 15 bucks you get to see some of the best in america wrestle 15 That's bucks right. ga 100 dollars preferred sitting group options are available and of course that social before all action gets underway and it will be streamed live on trackwrestling.com so we've got several options for the wrestling fans out there to see the uh, future of wrestling and wrestling programs from around the country and the best of the best go at it head to head and i like it I appreciate you taking the time to uh, to work with me on this interview. I know your schedule's busy. I want to thank Andrew Melrow, the always important SID for the University of Missouri, for, for assisting and making the appearance happen as well. But uh, it's time to go to a one-on-one -on -one practice session. Who are you going to be working out with today? Uh, who is it? Keegan McCormick. He's a, he's a younger guy. He's a guy right below right below my weight and right below my, uh, my class in school. But he's, he's tough. He's a good practice partner, one of my favorites. I love it. It'll be Daniel Lewis from Missouri. His opponent, Isaac Jordan from Wisconsin. It's the 2016 edition of the NWCA All-Star Classic. We're looking forward to seeing you there, Daniel. Thank you very much for the time today. You're welcome. Thanks for having me. He's stepping out of the Nike hot seat right now. <laughs> Daniel Lewis from Missouri.